All right, I'll ask you a question, okay? And the question is simply our Indian culture, okay? The Indian culture we have. Is the culture dying? Okay? Think about what I'm asking. Is our Indian culture dying? Now, you'll be like, uh, what do you mean? You know, can you be more specific? Okay. Uh, I'm talking about the new generation. I'm not talking of the old generation. The new generation that has been exposed to social media, that is trying to live the Western lifestyle, the Western template, where uh, today it has become cool to cherry pick the best parts of uh, being, let's say, Westerner or try to copy different cultures and try to incorporate it into your style. Okay, so I'll give you a specific example. Today, after I woke up, I got this message from a 31 year old young man. I'll not take his name. So he is from India, Delhi. And uh, he says, sir, I would like to uh, you know, take your services. Okay. But, uh, you know, when I was checking your services, I also found uh, your WhatsApp group. So I'd like to join your WhatsApp group also. So I want to take your service means he wants to give me business. He's a potential customer. He has money. But uh, he also wants to join my groups. Oh, snake. See, snake. So, you can see, right? Snake. Okay, so maybe he thought uh, this is the first time, you know, I'm hearing this or he can impress me or he's so smart, you know. He wants to give me business. You know, I want to give business. I checked your website. You know, I can be your customer. I will give you money. Yeah, but uh, I also found out you have a WhatsApp group. So, can I join there? So he thought I would say, oh, of course, of course, please, please, welcome, sir, welcome. You know, because when, in India, when customers come, come into your, not come, that come, when customers walk into your shop, you're like, ah, oh, sir, sir, please come, okay. Please, welcome, welcome, okay, come, come, come. So, uh, for me, Baba, this is not my first rodeo, okay. Like they say, you know, don't teach your father how to fuck. You, you can literally tell me, I'm going to pay you $10,000. Hey, can I join a WhatsApp group? I'll be like, you first give me the $10,000, then we'll talk. Okay, so I've been around the block a little bit. You can see all this, no? Okay, it's mistakes and age and wisdom and life learnings and pain and suffering. Okay, so I didn't give a damn about... I want to be your customer, I want to take your service. You want to join the groups? So I send him what are the rules? Name, age, this, that, fine. 31 year old, young man, New Delhi, some data, something, administrator, okay. I won't give his name and my request to my group members, please don't, uh, you know, reveal his identity because and you know, I'm very particular about it. Okay. So after that, he gave me, he showed me his legit. So I said, fine, I added him to a couple of groups that would help him because he wanted to learn and grow. After that, after I added him, that was the end. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. All right. Boom. Whatever. And then, sir, I want to join your porn group also. Ah, okay. Porno group. I want to join your adult porn group. I asked him why. And his answer was somewhere in the lines of, uh, I want to masturbate every day or I want to clear my mind by masturbating and uh, something, some bullshit he put. I like to masturbate or I want to masturbate every day while watching videos and I watched it from your video and some bullshit he gave me. So I want to learn, grow, improve and masturbate and okay.
think just think about this since when did since when here's my question since when did it become a normal thing to speak to your elders people who are elder than you people who are far more accomplished than you people who have you know who you say i admire you i look up to you to go to them and say hey i would like to join a porn group because i want to masturbate sir uh, i'd like to masturbate sir since when did it become okay and that also i i don't know whether to applaud or whether to call him stupid his real identity from his real identity okay he's asking me this now i don't know what self improvement he'll get from joining my masturbation group uh, sorry my not <laughs> my porno group okay and for those of you say oh law your double standards and you are encouraging porn baba i don't encourage anyone to have porn it is just that my group members and some of my paying clients they said uh, uh, could we have a group where we can exchange you, you know we have collections and we want to increase our collection and share with each other so after lots of demands i like okay fine create a group you exchange whatever the fuck you want for me i don't need see whether you believe or you don't i can access porn so easily baba porn hub uh, what xnx and uh, uh, so what all names are there uh, some uh, x videos and and f- forget accessing porn boss i can literally go and take some nice massage service or uh, happy ending uh, massage or soapy massage and so many options are there here here you just need to throw a little bit of money you'll get a girl who'll say fine you're taking care of me i'll take care of you not one i can take four five so i'm not a kid man come on <laughs> you know some of you the way you talk to me and i think these are mostly kids with anonymous accounts oh you are desperate for porn baba if i want sex i can go right now i'm a grown man i'm 47 not a baby i can go right now get a there are so many options i have what you're talking and forget even paid sex i can even get a girl there are girls who just want a, a good time you have to just take care of them and the expense what do you guys are talking so i i personally me because my testosterone is so down and i don't know it's age because of steroids and after my surgery i don't i'm not very active with sex and also my work is enough and more stress when you're stressed out people behave you know differently for me when i'm stressed out i'm focused on the job that is making money anyway i don't want to justify all this bullshit so for me my priority is not porn not sex not masturbating not this i just want to make money okay so this guy asked me this question now what i'm trying to understand is he's not the first young man who has asked me this and he definitely will not be the last even youngsters as young as 14 16 have literally sent me obviously you know from uh, maybe a phone that their father gave you know a hey bro a hey bro sometimes and one other one was what a dog d a w g a dog in a man nigga <laughs> how many r and b songs or rap songs you must have seen to think that is a normal way of talking to someone is is telling me a hey, your dog yo yo dog d a w g ya ma nigger is like uh some some rap uh, sl- slang uh what 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 you smoking man or some shit i was like who the fuck is this and what do you want oh my man oh my man he goes i said you either communicate in proper english or you're going to be blocked and deleted straight away I told him 
Ah, uh, okay. Hey, yo, yo, take it easy, man. Take it easy. I said, give me your name. What's your age? Who are you? At first, he said, oh, this is private. Okay, goodbye. To when I told him goodbye, he was like, okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Then he was like, ah, my name is Indian name. Think Ramu, which is a standard Indian name. Ramu. Okay. Small boy Ramu. Uh, I'm 14, 16, something. Okay. So I said, what the fuck do you want? Straight away I asked him, what the fuck do you want? I, I want to join your porn group. I was like, uh, straight away I told him, you're 14, right? He's saying, yeah, don't judge me. He's telling me, don't judge me because I'm 14. And uh, you might think I've not seen life. I've seen life. I was like, oh, wow, you've seen life. <sighs> oh. I was like, that's amazing, man. Tell me, how have you seen life? No, no, I've seen life. I, uh, I experienced my kiss, first kiss when I was 10, 11. I was smooching her. We did first base. I was like, what is first base? No, first base is only when you kiss and all that. I said, how many bases are there? You know, there are four, five, something is it. Second base is where you put the hand inside and you feel and she feels. Third base is where you remove down. Fourth base is... You know, when you do that thing, that thing. Hmm. So then fifth base is when you go all out. Okay. So I said, there's no more bases, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's saying, hey, come on, man. Why, why are you pulling my leg? No, no, I'm serious. There's no more bases. No, no, those bases are uh, extreme. Okay. So uh, there, there were more than four or five bases. I said, what is that? Yeah, you know, the disgusting stuff with animals and dead bodies. Oh, okay, okay. So I was like, hey, you know, just killing time. And then he said, so please, uh, can I join your porn group? So I told him, this is your phone number. I said, yeah. No, I said, okay. So I told him, uh, let me talk to your father. If your father says, okay, no, no, why you want to involve my father? I said, because you're 14, father's taking care. No, no, my father and I have an open relationship, open. Okay. So I said, then it shouldn't be a problem, right? No, no, I want to keep my father out of my personal affairs. So I asked him, what is your personal affair? Hey man, come on, stop making it complicated, all that bullshit even. Funny, I told him, I've taken screenshots of our conversation, okay? I'll be sending it to the authorities since your number is registered so that they contact your father. Obviously, your father must have taken it on his name and uh, they'll get in touch with you and help you achieve the needful. He got so fucking freaked out. He blocked me. I didn't have to block him. Now, okay, fine. This might be a funny incident. But do you see what I'm getting at, how disturbing it is? In fact, if you thought it's only boys, you remember in my previous videos, I spoke about young girls, college girls, which is a known fact in India, college girls, they, they also sleep around, you know, have boyfriends, parents are not looking, they go to a different part of India. Nobody knows what happens after college hours. So nobody's a saint, but for girls to, you know, because WhatsApp now you can call people, uh, messenger, you can just, you know, send messages and young girls asking me, uh, I want to create an OnlyFans account. And this is not a joke, huh? actual serious, like you want to be sure who you're talking to. So I tell them, I tell them, uh, show me your ID, show me your this, show me your that. Prove it by speaking on the camera. Okay, they come on the camera and I'm talking to a young girl. Imagine, college girl. And she's like uh, in a dormitory or something. Uh, I don't know where. And then, because they know that they're talking to me, that I would ask them for the video. They say, give me a few minutes. Okay, fine. And after the few minutes are off, the clothes that they wear. You know what's going on. They are not ashamed <laughs> to show a little bit of cleavage. Uh, they think uh, it, it is going to wow me. Of course, I've seen enough and more. 
So then imagine this, a real girl is asking only fans. And when I ask her why, because always I want to ask, she's saying, eh, and the bullshit excuse, no, my, I come from a uh, difficult family. I want to achieve my dreams. Uh, I want to make money. And this is not something permanent. I'm just doing it to move me closer to my goals financially. So I don't have trouble my parents. Hmm. So then I ask her, why don't you become a full-time prostitute? You'll make a lot more money, right? No, 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 that is different. This I'm just showing through photographs and videos. And then I asked that girl, and this is an actual incident which I've spoken to in my previous video. She said, yeah, uh, I do it. We have a private group where we don't show our names and real identity. And uh, we have uh, our friend who they send money to. And uh, you just send money and we'll send you snaps. You can tell us what you want. So we'll not show the face. We'll just show you the parts, body parts. Just let it sink in what I shared with you just now. Let it sink in. That today, our Indian youth, the boys and girls, they are talking about sex so openly. I even give you an incident, right, where uh, uh, this uh, long-time friend of mine who is based in India, okay, very beautiful girl, he actually showed me the photo, very, very beautiful, and this girl is going to get married, okay, they are friends, and uh, this guy is not good-looking, he is not only, forget average, he's below average, there's nothing about him that is attractive. But this girl is extremely beautiful. Very beautiful, very attractive. And he told me, she wants, she openly came up to him and she said, we've been friends for so long and this and that, fine. And she said, you know, I will, my fantasy is to have sex with you. Straight away. She did not speak. She did not uh, have an icebreaker. And... Uh, she immediately focused on asking the request. So now what do you make of it? Here's the question, what do you make of it? Do you think this is acceptable? And if me, who's staying remote, where people uh, send me messages, just imagine in hiding how much young men and young women must be doing their thing. I, you know, once upon a time for people like me, when I was this age, we were afraid, we were shy. You know, we couldn't talk. We would secretly talk to each other about a sex, about movies, about... Once upon a time, it was like... And talking to an adult, are you crazy? We would never speak to an adult. In fact, we would even take uh, porno magazines, uh, which was Playboy, Hustler, secretly. Today, the culture is cool, man, open. I mean, just think about it. Girls, young girls, Indian girls, I'm not talking about Westerners, Indian girls are comfortable enough to show me their sex videos. They are uh, themselves nude. They have actually done this. And they are saying, oh, uh, man, forget that. Girls have even told me, uh, you have always been my fantasy. Uh, I don't know, I get a turn on showing you. Yeah, if I was younger, that would be so much fun. Wow. Today also, it's not that I mind. I, I'm being honest with you. If a girl says, I want to show you myself, yeah, yeah, sure, okay, yeah, sure. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do? Am, but am I going to go crazy? Wow, oh, oh baby, I love you. Let me take out my package also. I'm just going to look and... Okay, interesting. Hmm. And yes, girls do ask me, yeah, show me yours, I want to see yours. Then I tell them, just go to YouTube, you'll see bariatric surgery. I'm lying lifeless on the bloody operating table. You'll see my package, you'll see everything. And <laughs> they say, no, not like that. I want to see, I want to see it hard. And Imagine young girls 
an age gap of what 27 years now you'll say hey law you're a perverted old man okay fine okay i'm perverted fine you're encouraging this where have i put advertisements the other ones are coming to me now oh why don't you end the call yeah i didn't encourage them to keep in touch with me but if you want to show me something and you're a attractive female show i'm a normal guy i don't mind watching but provided i'm free if i'm busy with a client or i'm doing work bugger off <sighs> just imagine this is our youth and it's not just you know limited to sex i've told you instances where youngsters have threatened threatened to rape my wife threatened to rape my daughter and what is the reason because i have said something about uh, bjp's policy i've spoken about you know citizenship amendment act yeah, for them if i have a political opinion or they disagree with me or for example even if i say um you know open sex is bad these youngsters literally comment under my channel hey you bloody hypocrite you did your shit you know how how dare you uh, you know uh, say that we should not have fun yeah, anonymous no so it's easy to talk in fact in my whatsapp groups not the bono one these 20 year olds oh so passionately they will fight and lecture each other and lecture even adults what do you know about economy what do you know about money what do you know about and they are experts on every other subject but the minute you ask them about their life what is your job how much are you earning your relationship status nothing zero then their bravado vanishes that's why you know we have this term no keyboard warriors you know it is becoming a disturbing fact that today it's a fact huh? it's a fact it's not a, my version of the truth that our new generation that is coming is so entitled is so brainwashed with options and opinions girls are openly saying girls where once upon a time a girl's dream was get married settle down have children now this feminist empowerment thing has started oh i'll just live in with a guy i'll just live in and uh, you know open relationship he'll do his thing i'll do my thing okay fine i'm not saying that is wrong go ahead and do it but do you see what it's doing to our values and if you feel that is okay then is it okay if the person you love does that i mean it should work both ways right then you if you are going to do it your partner also should do it right but then if both of them do it where where does our society go now some of you who know my past and my history will know that when i was young yes i did have multiple girlfriends i was a playboy and i've clearly stated to you why because never had proper guidance never had parents were there for me i was just a young man thrown into the world from the age of 16 who is there to tell me what is right and wrong i just i was under the assumption have fun i didn't think of the consequence i was a young man today when i have a child when i have a wife when i've become a little older i realize the actions that i undertake they impact others i mean you know it's only when you have your own child you start thinking like an adult i ask myself okay what is being done to other girls is that fair enough if it happens to my own child so if i say no it should not happen to my child then is it okay it happens to someone else's child that that is where i tell people when you are an adult you do what you want but when you're not an adult you have to take the guidance of your parents 
see I, i'll tell you eh, whether india's culture goes up down left right personally it doesn't impact me because i don't live in india i'm not going to interact with you know interact clients yes but i'm not going to have families who are indians i doubt my daughter is going to be in india she's going to be a thai citizen she is already a thai citizen she has a thai passport i opted for her not to go for an indian passport not that i have anything against india but she is with her mother who is thai her family is thai after i die she has to be with them and i'll die faster because i'm 47 so i have nothing got to do with uh, the indian culture but then the question comes then why the hell are you making this video because i see a lot of youth i see a lot of youngsters who reach out to me for guidance and not all of them are this mad hat character but the problem is they have to interact with people who are like this do you know how many young men who approach me say sir i can't find a girl even as a friend who you know doesn't flaunt herself or uh, is asking for money or you know is with one guy today one guy. in fact one of the guys in my group this girl literally used him for his money made him take a loan and dumped his ass after he gave her money and went to another rich guy it's happening right it affects everyone man and as long as you're staying in india and you're interacting with indians and your so friend circle or you know family members are indians it will impact you if you're like me in some remote country and all alone fine but it is sad because the degradation of the values once upon a time there was respect the elders fear god you know do your work take responsibilities today it's all about being self entitled oh i deserve this i want to work from home i want a seven figure income i want to go to the west straight away they'll just tell me i want to go what do, what do i need to do girls are asking uh, how can i get big money how can i get a sugar daddy they have even asked me this so what do you do okay. so this is how society is changing and there's nothing we can do about it the fascination of wanting to be someone from the west have a hot girl and you know the instagram life or the pool or the booze or the dance all that looks nice that's not reality that's why why do you think so many people are crazy about andrew tate they worship him yeah because he is spewing bullshit which is not sustainable that is a life any crazy you know uh testosterone high young man would want girls and fun and money and physique and that's not life anyway you you tell me if i'm right or wrong let me know what do you think do you think what i'm saying makes sense or if you have a different take to it and please <laughs> don't say oh this happens in pakistan also this happens in us also this happen i'm interested where india is concerned indians okay but if you'd like to chime in and say yeah it's happening in germany yeah my family is there and it's understandable but yeah, i'd like it like to know how does it impact today's younger generation or indians in particular feel free let me know your thoughts This is me signing off. You guys take care.